got me a water barrel. I, the water source is over 100 yards away, so the way I did this with these basically irrigation ditches is I can bring this hose, I got just enough to reach to the far end of my garden, and I've got a slight downward slope. So I just lay the hose in the trench and let it run, and it fills up this entire trench all the way down the whole length of my garden. to go around and water each individual plant but I got a lot of small plants like radishes and stuff that are kind of delicate and my lettuces and that that I don't that I want to get water right to so I got this big 55 gallon drum with the top cut off and I'll just fill that up that way I got something to uh, hand water my plants if I need to These are my little lettuce sprouts and radishes and kale. The seeds are all quite small and they're really shallow in the ground, so use this watering can. Keeps me from washing them away. And uh, from what I understand, the trick to good radishes is giving them constant water. So we're going to try that and see if it works. Another nice thing about having this barrel in the center of my garden, directly over this trench, is if I'm not paying attention and it overflows, The water won't be wasted because it'll run right down the center of my garden. Water starts up there, comes right down the center of my garden to my corn, goes right up in between each row of corn. And that's where my little irrigation ditch ends because of that mole. He's got a big tunnel going all the way through this corn. That water's wrapping all the way around. Coming all the way down that 50 foot row. Wrapping around my little irrigation ditch. Coming halfway up the row of corn and <clears throat> disappearing into the ground. Same thing over here, water comes down, it goes into mole hell. Well I hope that mole's got gills because he's going to be getting a 
good drink of water today. Better yet, that mole better hope he's got gills. I hope he doesn't have gills. I hope he goes belly up and quits tearing up my rows. Those moles get underground and they go in your roots. They don't eat the plants, but they put air down in there and it keeps your plants from doing any good, it kills them off. It's nice to have a good hat with a brim on it to keep the sun off of you. And I'll even ta I'll take this hat over to the water hose and I'll soak it down and plop it on my head. It keeps me a lot cooler. I'll even do the same thing with my shirt. While I'm sitting here watering my garden the easy way. Work smarter, not harder. I put that barrel right in the center of my garden, furthest away from the water source. That way it's central <clears throat> and I don't have to walk as far with the water. It's looking good. Thanks for watching. And uh, thanks for all the comments and support. Talk to you guys later.